All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to run through how to get out of the spam folder, specifically with Klaviyo. Now, if you've seen your email open rates fall gradually over time, or you're getting less purchases per email you're sending, you're probably experiencing some degree of an email deliverability issue. Now, I'm going to break down the specific scenarios where you will be seeing that and why. Now, deliverability is like the least sexy piece of email marketing, but it's the most important. Why is that? It's because if people aren't receiving your emails in the first place, you're going to get less people opening, you're going to get less people clicking, and you're going to get less people purchasing. Now, ultimately, if you're experiencing deliverability issues, it's going to come down to one of three things. Number one is you have high bounce rates. Number two is high unsubscribe rates. And number three is you have high marked as spam rates. So let's touch on the first one, which is bounce rates. And then I'll dive in and show you exactly how we were able to get this client's bounce rates from over 10% to significantly lower than that. And they're now sub 1% and continue continue to improve month over month. So let me share my screen and I'll dive in. So like I said, the first thing we want to look at is bounce rates. Now, where you find this is you can go to deliverability and it's going to actually spit out a deliverability score here for you. Right here, you can just see email overall score, your bounce rate, theirs is 1.4%. This still isn't great, but it's like almost 10 times less than what their previous bounce rate was like a month ago. It'll take time, right? And one of the biggest things with bounce rates is understanding why people are bouncing and where they're bouncing. So if you have a pop up on your website, for example, and you're getting a lot of people to opt in, that's great. But if you're getting a lot of people who are bouncing within the welcome series, that's an issue. So what we noticed with them is they had a very high bounce rate people right after joining the welcome series. Weird, right? They want the discount in the pop up. So why would they submit an email that isn't legit? Why are they bouncing? The reason that they were bouncing is because of a certain ESP. And I'll show you exactly how we figure that out. So basically within this deliverability section, you can see a couple of things. One, you can go and check out these reports and you can see like where most of the email inbox providers are. You can select a certain time period and whatnot here. You can look at your negative engagement metrics per ESP as well, which is actually really beneficial. And then you can look at bounce details. So this is really, really interesting. And it's gonna look like a lot when you look at this screen, but basically what we wanna look at here is this soft bounces. So soft bounces, hard bounces, Klaviyo's automatically gonna deal with you. Like basically it's gonna be like an incorrect email email or a fake email address. But with soft bounces, there's a different reason for that. Now here you can see there's 94 soft bounces and you can see the inbox provider is T online. Now what we figured out and what we went and checked after seeing this was, oh man, what is going on here? Most of the bounces, a huge percentage of bounces are coming from these T online customers. When we dug in deeper, this is, it's a German ESP. And basically if you don't have like your own dedicated IP and a variety of other things, you're going to get flagged by these guys. So right now, it doesn't really make sense for the client to have a dedicated IP, largely just because from a sending volume perspective, they wouldn't have enough sends to keep it warm. So what we look at here is then, well, how can we make sure that we're not actually sending to these people? It sucks, but we need to make sure we're not sending to these people because a 10% bounce rate has massive implications on their deliverability. So what we went ahead and did is we went ahead and created a segment in here and we said anyone I'll show you how we created this segment too so if you look at the definition of this segment basically it is properties about someone email contains tonline.de as basically text and if they can receive email marketing so what we're trying to do here is basically just exclude anyone who has a tonline.de email now that sucks but we've added some disclaimers on our pop-up so that people know if they have this email they're not going to receive the offer, but also just by doing this, their deliverability and their bounce rate went from 10 plus percent to 1%. Again, we still want to improve that, but huge, huge changes. So this deliverability score calculator and looking at the bounce details is incredibly powerful. So basically what you want to do is go in here, look at what email inbox provider is having the issues. If there are issues that are currently happening. Now, if not, if you're not having a bounce rate issue, for example, 
example, then you want to look at the next piece, which is your unsubscribes. Now, unsubscribes are going to happen because people are not interested in what they're receiving. Basically, one of the biggest solutions for unsubscribes and decreasing those, that unsubscribe rate is just by segmenting your list more and more consistently. What it comes down to is like, and what email marketing comes down to in general is just delivering the right message to the right person at the right time. Where we see a lot of brands make a mistake is by batching and blasting their entire list. So saying like, hey, you know, we're just gonna send to absolutely everyone. So the next piece here, if bounce rate is not an issue, and if you look at your, your deliverability report and your bounce rate is fine, the next piece you wanna look at is your unsubscribe rate. Now your unsubscribe rate is gonna basically just indicate that like people aren't interested in what you're sending them. You might get a lot of people and some brands we've seen, usually this doesn't happen, but sometimes you get a lot of people unsubscribing off the first email of the welcome series because people just want a discount and that's it. That happens. It's not common, but it does happen. So if you're getting a lot of unsubscribes, it's really just going to come down to really they don't want to receive your emails. And what that often comes down to is not speaking to the right people with the right message at the right time. How we solve that for our clients is just segmenting properly. We don't want to batch and blast in the entire list. We've seen clients do this and their deliverability suffers because of this. But what we do want to do is send relevant content to the right people at the right time, with the right message. How we do that is through segmentation. Basically, a couple of the key segments we use, I'll, I'll share here uh, for you guys real quick. So if I go to our list and segments, obviously you can see we've got our like T online that we're excluding. And that's a big part of segmentation is looking at like what people are actually interested in what we're sending out and who should we exclude? Because that's equally as important as who are we including. So when we look at exclusions, we want to exclude people who are chronic bouncers. So people who have bounced, you know, three, four, five times. Clavio automatically does that at seven. But like if you're really experiencing deliverability issues, you actually may want to look at suppressing people after they've bounced twice or three times. It'll just help to maintain better email deliverability. The other thing we want to look at for exclusions is just people who haven't engaged, right? So how we do that is just sending to the most engaged people. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, different ways that you can kind of segment this out. What we usually recommend doing is actually segmenting out for engaged purchasers and engaged non-purchasers. In this segment, we wanted to kind of get things up and running relatively quickly and they don't have a huge list. So what we looked at here was creating a segment of 14 day engaged all. Now, usually what we would recommend is saying like a 30, 60 or 90 day engaged list. That way you're getting more of your, your list and you're able to hit more of the people who are you know actually engaged. Now, what we wanna look at here for your engaged list is gonna be they've been active on the website at least once, uh, or they've clicked an email at least once, or they've opened an email at least once, and they can receive email marketing. Now, this number here is gonna vary. So in the last 14 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, what you wanna look at here is making sure that your open rates are still strong, right? If you're getting very low open rates, you're going to, again, that's gonna impact your ESP, uh, your deliverability with those ESPs as well. So if you've done all of this, the next piece is just looking at spam rates. So again, you could go back to your deliverability here and you can kind of see like, hey, what's our spam complaint rate? Well, if you're at 0.01%, that's pretty decent, right? Now, if you're higher than that, if you're at like 1%, 2%, 3%, 4% or higher than that, that's a huge issue, right? And what that is meaning is again, you're not speaking to the right people at the right time with the right message. Now, again, how do we fix that? It's just segmentation. So a lot of the kind of main problems you're going to experience with deliverability can be fixed with segmentation right from the beginning, you know, looking at bounce rates, segmenting, removing that segment who is chronic bouncing, looking at the unsubscribes and looking at why people are unsubscribing, what emails people are unsubscribing on. You can go into each individual flow, each individual campaign, and you can see which campaigns are resonating, which campaigns are not, which flows are resonating, and which flows are not, and where are people getting pissed off enough that they actually want to unsubscribe. This is kind of how we look at deliverability, and this is how we go about fixing that for our clients. This client came to us and they were like, man, our email just is not working already. Like they were doing 3% of their revenue from email. They've already taken that up to about 15%, which is still very, very low, but we've almost 5X that in just a month. We haven't even started sending campaigns yeah. So pretty wild in terms of what you can do. And if you do have an e-com brand, you're doing over $50,000 a month. I invite you to apply to work with us. So there's a link just below this video. There's an application. We work with DTC brands doing over $50,000 a month.
and we help them grow and scale using email and retention. So yeah, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks so much and uh, have a great day.